It's not just thousands of people with cancelled Southwest Airlines flights, being stranded at airports across the nation, but also thousands of pieces of their checked-in luggage, even if the owner never got on a flight. Some passengers said, they have been separated from baby gear, medicine and other important items because they didn't anticipate being separated from their baggage for so long. At Honolulu International Airport, Southwest passenger Crystal Munoz had to sort through over, easily 75 bags jammed together, to find her family's suitcases when her husband rebooked their flight to Maui on Hawaiian Airlines. It was a free-for-all and then they had to move them for another flight's incoming luggage, she told USA Today. Anyone could have taken any bag. The family eventually made it to Maui that night but ended up paying over $1,000 in extra costs. She and her family are among thousands of people who have lost both time and money over their holiday travel plans as Southwest cancelled more than 2,500 flights Wednesday, after roughly 5,600 cancellations Monday and Tuesday, according to FlightAware. In the immediate aftermath of the thousands of flight cancellations, Many stranded Southwest Airlines passengers have been given little to no information on where their checked bags may be or end up, leading to frustration and hundreds of their own dollars spent on hotels and clothes.